Hey guys, welcome to third grade, chapter six, lesson nine. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So when we're doing this, it's division rules for one and zero. So I'm gonna show you a little trick, okay? When the two numbers are the same with division, the answer is gonna be one. So anywhere on here that you see that the numbers are identical, right there, seven divided by seven, it'll be one, okay? Now, anywhere that you see a zero in a division problem, the answer is going to be zero every single time. Okay? Anytime that you see a one, the answer is going to be the other number. One. Okay? One. Okay? See that? That's zero. Boom. Okay? So, you guys, go ahead, go through, fill out the rest of those. You totally can, okay? Just remember, if the numbers are the same, if they're identical, it's going to be a 1. If there's a 0 anywhere in that problem and it's the only number, if it's a single-digit number and it's 0, the answer is going to be 0, okay? It doesn't matter which side it's on, it's going to be 0, okay? Number's the same. If the other number is a 1, it's going to be the other number. Okay. All right. There are no horses in the stable. There are three stables in all. How many horses are in each stable? Well, that's just going to be zero horses. It says there are no horses. John has six kites. He and his friends each fly one kite. Six times one. How many people will fly a kite? Six people. Okay, we're going to go over onto the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to do the very last spiral review of the chapter. There are seven plates on a table. There are zero sandwiches on each plate. How many sandwiches are on the plate? Well, seven times zero, zero sandwiches. Okay, show a way to break apart the array to find the product. So I like to do it in super easy numbers. So like when it's a big one like this, I do it by five. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna break my array right here, okay? So there's that side and then here's this side, okay? So I wind up with five times three because there's three down plus two times three. Okay, so then I just have 15 plus six, which is 21. Okay, so, all right. Describe the pattern on the table. Well, we're gonna multiply the number of vans by the numbers by six to get the number of students, okay? So, Multiply by six. Okay. And last but not least, how many more teams did Sam bring in than Lee? Well, Sam brought in 18, Lee brought in nine. So 18 minus nine is nine. So nine more teams. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging out for Chapter 6. Come on back for Chapter 7. See you soon.